Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we share a demo review of the new X MG400. First of all we will hear the unit in action with the demo song, then we will describe the main characteristics of the unit, then we will hear more sounds in a dedicated section of this video and also comparing the unit versus real tube amps. And finally I will give you my two cents. So I hope you enjoy and please subscribe and ring the bell, it's gonna really help me to make more videos like this. Let's start with the demo song. Let's describe the MG400. Well, first of all, it is the successor of the budget friendly New X MG300, which I think we can all agree is offering a pretty high value for money. The price of the MG400 has increased compared to the one of the MG300, but well, with the chip shortage going on and the inflation, I think a price increase was to be expected even considering that the MG400 offers much more compared to the MG300. And it offers 25 amps, one bass amp and one acoustic guitar amp. It offers 25 caps and IRs at up to 512 sampling points. The user can load his own IRs, one for each patch or using the 12 dedicated IRs slot. It also offers four microphones with three positions each and eight bass cabinets. You have three acoustic guitar ARs preloaded. It has four foot switches instead of the two of the MG300 with some more knobs at your disposal for easier operations. And it manages 10 independent effect blocks, amp and cab included, that can be arranged in whatever position you want. You can also use the three scenes available in order to avoid gaps when changing presets. The screen is a 2.8 inches LCD screen, therefore it is a little bit bigger compared to the MG300 which was really small and this is a nice upgrade in my opinion. The MG400 supports New X phrase loop synchronization with rhythm. You can play the rhythm then record your phrase loop. MG400 will automatically beat match the phrase to fit the current rhythm BPM. We can choose either stereo or mono looping, where stereo is 30 seconds long 
and mono 60 seconds long. You have the quick tone computer app at your disposal also for the NG400 with which you can control and set up the parameters of the MG400, building easily your own preset, etc. The unit can serve as an audio interface thanks to its USB Type-C connection with four USB channels at 24 bits and 48 kilohertz. Yes, here we have four USB channels where with the typical units in this price range you get typically two USB channels at 44.1 kilohertz where here you have four USB channels at 48 kilohertz. The latency is very good at 1.1 milliseconds as declared in the user manual. This is a pretty impressive value and if you want more info you can check out my 23 amp modeling pedal boards latency test video. As regards HiO, here is where we get some tangible and effective upgrades compared to the MG300. In fact, we now have a guitar input, an aux in, stereo outputs, a dedicated headphone jack and a USB Type-C port. Therefore, we now have dedicated stereo outputs compared to the MG300 and USB Type-C which is much more user-friendly compared to the USB connection of the MG300. The dimensions are 289 by 160 by 71 and it weights 920 grams. Therefore, it is a little bit bigger and heavier compared to the MG300 that was 230 by 160 by 58 with a weight of 754 grams. It is made out of plastic, like the MG300, with the exclusion of the back that I think is aluminium. And it runs at 9 volts and 280 milliamperes. It is available since September the 9th at the price of 219 bucks. Kind of in the middle between the MG30 and the old MG300, so a pretty aggressive price. If you want to check out all the differences between the MG400, the MG300 and the MG30, you can watch the video in the card above or description below. Let's now hear some more sounds.
finite considerations here and please notice that these are gonna be my personal opinions for my specific use cases and of course you may not agree with me and this is totally fine. Furthermore, Nuix has sent me this unit for free but they are not asking me to say anything, therefore I am free to tell you whatever I want. What I like? Well, first of all that it is very budget friendly but still with a pretty complete array of features. Therefore, even if you are on a tight budget, you can get something like the MG400 basically without missing anything major, but being able to record at home with pretty realistic results and being able also to play live without problems. Therefore, for instance, if you are a beginner with a little bit more than 200 bucks at your disposal, you can have something that will accompany you for a pretty long period of time along your guitar journey. Then I also like all the improvements over the MG300. We have a larger screen, extended I.O. ports, more foot switches, an improved latency value, etc. You also have four USB channels at 24 bits and 48 kilohertz, which is a rarity for units in this price range. By the way, if you want more info about how the latency of this device compares to other 23 amp modeling pedal boards, you can check out the video in the card above or description below. Furthermore, if you want to know all the differences between the MG300, the MG400 and the MG30, you can check out another one of my videos, link in the card above or description below. What I would have improved even further? Well, considering the price, honestly I don't have too much to say here. Maybe I would have just added a MIDI input in order to be able to connect the unit to an external MIDI controller and enhance even further the value for money of the unit and its longevity. Honestly, nothing more comes to my mind. In conclusion, I think that it is pretty impressive to have something like this in this price range. It is a budget-friendly unit, but with the MG400 you can basically perform live, you can write songs and record them at home or in mobility with pretty realistic results, as you may have verified watching the demo song. Yes, the price of this unit is a little bit bigger, compared to the old MG300, but you have extended I.O., a better screen, more foot switches, a better latency, etc., as aforementioned. And considering the chip shortage and the inflation, I think that the price and the value for money is still very, very good. But please let me know what do you think about this unit, what are the pros and cons in your opinion? Isn't it impressive what you can get with such a tiny budget nowadays compared to just 10 years ago? Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below. We have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell and leave a thumb up, it would be of a great help. If you are interested in my IRs or in my camper profiles, you can check out the link in the card above or the description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video, bye bye.